hmm, I can't really do another top 10 or top 5. I wish there was a single fragrance I could review where the name was just pure clickbait. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Here we go. Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing a review on 4160 Tuesdays from London and the scent is called the sexiest scent on the planet ever, I-M-H-O. Right, so what is this scent all about? So this scent is from the house of 4160 Tuesdays London or are they called 4160 Tuesdays, however you're meant to say that. Uh, it's from the perfumier Sarah McCartney who is the lady in charge of this house and the woman who creates all of the perfumes from them. She's an English self-taught perfumier. Uh, the company's been going a little while and this one is from 2013. They've got quite a niche following. People who really like them have often got quite a few bottles and one of those people is Claire from the Smurfy Girly channel who's in a lot of my videos. So she's the person actually who's given me access to this bottle and I've been working with a little decan and I've really found that this is uh, amongst a lot of their scents that I like. Like this is one that's really uh, captured my imagination the most. I find it really, really wearable. And uh, what we've got here is a really great, slightly fresh take on a gourmand. A gourmand is a fragrance that's aimed at fat people. Brilliant, wearable gourmand. So this fragrance has a very uh, interesting, appealing, cheeky name. The sexiest scent on the planet ever, I-M-H-O. Where did that come from, you may ask? It's not entirely just a marketing gimmick, but what happened was the company were making another uh, fragrance, and it was going to be something to do with a gin company that they were going to be sponsored by. So, And they created this as the base for it, on top of which we're going to go some other um, more zesty and notes related to gin, I think, to do with this gin company. At some kind of perfume fair or show or something a journalist uh, smelled this base and declared it to be really beautiful and said in fact oh my god it's the sexiest scent on the planet at which point she asked to have her own uh, bottle sent to her just of this fragrance and at that point Sarah McCartney decided hey why not if people like it that much let's just give them this on its own as a fragrance and that's what happened it's got some acclaim there are a few reviews out there including a very entertaining one filmed on the top of a double-decker bus in London by Sarah McCartney, the perfumier herself. Maximilian Huesler has also done a review on it. He's a really great reviewer who reviews all kinds of obscure stuff as well as the, the big name fragrances, but he has a really good nose. So he's declared it one of, if not his most, his favorite gourmand fragrances, uh, which gives me some confidence in declaring it a really good scent because he, he is a really good nose. So what do I think about this and how do I describe it? There are a few different versions of the notes that you can find online, but I'm going to go with what Sarah McCartney says in her review on YouTube on the top of the bus, and that is that the notes are just four. So the notes in this one, according to Sarah McCartney herself, are bergamot, cedra ambra, vanillin, in other words vanilla, and iso e super. So cedra ambra apparently is a, just another kind of smooth, warm, woody note. Iso e super is the famous molecule and apparently I think it is the same version that's used in Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. So very simple notes, let's get back to the review. So the company described this one on their website as a lemon meringue pie with seductive woody notes and that's a pretty good description. What we've got here is a lemon meringue pie kind or pound cake type of smell, a sweet vanilla or vanillin kind of smell with a, a lemony opening and a, a kind of lemony element which is captured and stays throughout the wearing along with some very smooth uh, soft sexy woody notes so uh, iso e super can smell a lot like cedarwood or maybe a combination of cedarwood and sandalwood and seems to morph a little bit differently on people's skin uh, depending who's wearing it and, and just creates a really sexy aura without being very identifiable easily as a particular kind of smell on its own but it has a sort of woody smooth aura so the, the scent is very simple iso e super is sometimes uh, mocked or looked down upon by some people as a sort of easy way to make things smell nice but in this instance, I think it really melds well with the other ingredients. So in our male fragrance YouTube reviewing world, we often describe Chanel's Allurom Edition Blanche as a lemon meringue pie scent. Well, this one is more uh, accented on the meringue than the lemon, but it does have that lemony sweetness uh, in the beginning alongside the vanilla sweetness. If you're looking for a gourmand fragrance that's wearable, this could be the one because the vanilla in here is very smooth 
and soft and it still retains a certain freshness with the woody notes the iso e super and the lemon so it's got a little bit of that vanilla feel to satisfy your gourmand craving but it could never get too sickly or cloying uh, it's very very wearable extremely unisex for a man or a woman absolutely fine so i have no problem wearing this and the great thing about it is i feel comfortable wearing it in pretty much all seasons uh, it, it never gets really syrupy and cloying so i think it's fine for spring and summertime as well as being really good for winter time projection on this scent is modest it's, it's medium it's, it's not really weak you will smell it but it's not pumping out a huge uh, scent cloud around you so it's definitely work appropriate actually pretty good for dates in fact I did it I did a date video recently uh, this one was maybe just a little bit obscure or unknown to, to, to make that list but it would be a good choice possibly for a man or woman on a date could come off just a wee bit feminine maybe in some women's eyes if they smelled it on a man so you might want to try it out at work and things before you start rocking it in the evening too much but i would definitely wear this in the daytime or the evening so the fragrance overall is a really good possible choice for a signature scent if you want a little bit of vanilla in there mixed in with a lovely sexy seductive woodiness and a little bit of a lemon fragrance so great it's bergamot in fact but yeah lemon and or bergamot citrus kind of notes in there it's a really really seductive sexy smooth scent but actually the name is just slightly misleading maybe because it's uh, it's a very restrained refined understated kind of sexy smell it's not jumping out at people as a oh my god it, you know it's not a panty dropper i don't think and even sarah mccartney says she has other scents she feels are more sexy but the name is cute and it's either really annoyingly tacky or, or good but i'm going to go with the latter the packaging's lovely on the bottle we've got a sort of uh, 1960s pop art art school stroke art deco feel I'm not quite it's that sort of mixture of the two and the boxes that these come in are lovely too i've actually got the box here for sleep knot but it would be the same kind of box i don't think we've got the box for this one and they're very attractive they come like that so really nice packaging and the price on this one is very reasonable i think i looked today on lucky scent in the usa and 50 mils was 90 dollars uh, and i'll try and put some information up about prices depending where you are in the world but very reasonably priced for a high quality niche kind of scent so 4160 tuesdays sexy the sexiest scent on the planet ever is one of my favorite gourmands as someone who doesn't like over the top i don't want to smell like a rich chocolate pudding or something like that but i do like the smell of vanilla and i like when that's mixed in with a bit of woodiness and citrus it reminds me a little bit maybe of tondere madeleine by uh le centre's gourmand laurence dumont although that is a little bit more gourmandy a, little, a bit more of that cakey feel with that one but i really like that one and that does have the, the similarity that there's citrus mixed with a vanilla gourmand element this one probably just about edges it for me at the moment though beautiful fragrance underrated house that surely deserves more exposure and every time you see someone review it online they're nearly always extremely positive about it so i think 4160 tuesdays is really worthy of your attention i've also got a little bottle of ealing green a nice sort of grassy floral rose with a grass fresh grass smell lovely interesting fragrance but this one probably my favorite from the house well worth checking out probably at the moment i'm going to go with a nine out of ten let me know if you've tried this one or any other 4160 Tuesday scents. Thanks for joining me. And remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.